So one thing I get asked quite a lot is how to remove the dart. And you wanna make sure you're removing it for the right reason. So when you want to remove a dart, it is normally because you want to create something that's a bit more oversized, so you already have enough fabric and enough movement allowed in the garment that you can still move in it, so you're fine to remove the dart and get rid of the shaping. Because our darts create shaping, as you can see here, if I close up this dart here, then it creates shaping for the body. Whereas if you're creating something oversized, you don't necessarily need that. So to remove the dart, what you want to do is start off by pivoting the dart down into this bottom area here. So you want to start off at the start of the dart, draw around half of your block. It doesn't matter which way around you draw, which half you draw first. And then just do a little mark where you're finishing there and then mark that on your block that you can then rub off later. So I've just drawn that for now. And then I just wanna close up this dart. So all I'm doing is pivoting my block to close up the dart so one edge comes to the other edge. And then I'm putting the dart down into the bottom by drawing around the rest of the block up to the same point as I did before. And then I just wanna join that up. And then what I want to do is move this dart into a different kind of area so that then we can increase the amount of fabric overall in this, but remove the dart. Because at the moment, all we've done is moved it down to this area here because we still have this gap. So there's still a dart in this pattern. So what we're gonna do is join from the bottom of the underarm here down to each side here. So you're going down to each side of the dart here. And then we just want to cut up one side and we're going to be closing this gap up here. So just cut up, it doesn't matter which side, but one side that you've drawn now. And then cut in from the edge, leaving it just attached so you can pivot. And then what we're going to do is just get this area of the block here and then move it over to here. So that then we're removing this gap at the bottom and then we just want to stick this closed and at the moment we have a bit of a funny chunky line here so all we want to do is extend this line across and extend this line down and we will have added extra into the pattern to allow for this dart but remember you only want to do this if you're doing something a little bit more oversized so you already have that room for maneuver in your garment and now you can ignore all of these lines here and you've got a block that you can use and you can translate into card or you can of course just use it as it is and just carry on with your pattern and you've got no darts in it.